Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today we'll be discussing how exactly Harry Potter's mum, Lily Potter, felt about the divisive yet devoted character of Professor Severus Snape. Since the release of the Deathly Hallows, it has become common knowledge, for those of us interested in Harry Potter lore, that the once reviled Severus Snape had actually lived nearly his entire life in servitude to his feelings for Lily Potter. From the time that he was a boy growing up in the industrial town of Cokeworth, England, and met a neighborhood girl called Lily Evans, all the way to his dying breath, Snape's actions in life were almost entirely motivated by his love for her. The most poignant passage describing Severus Snape's love for Lily Potter can be found in that final installment of the series, in the chapter titled The Prince's Tale. For it is here where Harry dives into Snape's memories and uncovers the depth of Snape's feelings for his mum. In one particular memory, Snape reveals to Dumbledore that his Patronus is a doe, the same as Lily's, symbolizing his enduring love for her. When Dumbledore asks, after all this time, Snape simply replies, always. This single word encapsulates Snape's unwavering love for Lily, even after her death. And so, by the end of the series, there is absolutely no doubt as to how Snape felt about Lily. But how did Lily feel about Severus? Throughout the course of both the novels and the films, we are given glimpses into what their relationship was like from their time as children up until Lily's death at the hands of Lord Voldemort. Today, we'll go through what we know and try to untangle how she felt about him. Lily Potter, born Lily Evans, and Severus Snape's relationship began in their childhood, specifically when they were neighbors growing up together in a small town. As Lily began to uncover her abilities to perform magic as a little girl, her relationship with Severus can be characterized by a shared sense of being different and a mutual love for magic. Snape, who came from a troubled home, found comfort in Lily's friendship, and he felt pride in being able to teach her about the magical world that he had grown up knowing. In fact, it was Snape who revealed to Lily that she was a witch, and who provided her with a basic education about the wizarding world before they both attended Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. At this point in her life, it would seem that Lily truly valued her friendship with Severus, especially since her acceptance to Hogwarts created an ever-growing estrangement between herself and her sister Petunia, who had once been her close friend and ally. Once at school, Lily and Snape's bond grew stronger as they navigated the early years of Hogwarts together, with the two often seen by each other's side. Based on how Lily often depended on Severus for companionship, it seems clear that she continued to value her friendship with him during those first few years at Hogwarts. However, their relationship soon became complicated, with Snape's growing fascination with the Dark Arts and his association with future Death Eaters creating a rift between the two of them. This rift was then only deepened by Lily's interest in James Potter, who had only ever been cruel to Severus. And while Lily initially turned down James's advances, calling him an arrogant toe rag, after he continually bullied Snape, she did eventually begin to date the leader of the Marauders, much to Severus's displeasure. To me, this indicates that during their initial years at Hogwarts, Lily greatly cared for Snape, and she may have even loved him. However, I don't know if I'd say that she was ever in love with him. Sadly, due to his alternative interests and questionable company, I'm not sure that Snape ever truly stood a chance with Lily, who was a good and honorable witch. Ultimately, their friendship ended in their fifth year at Hogwarts after Snape, humiliated by James and his friends, lashed out at Lily, calling her a mudblood. As this is a deeply offensive term for muggle-born witches and wizards, it effectively marked the end of their friendship. And while Snape did try to mend their relationship, coming to her to apologize, it did not seem to matter to Lily, for in her eyes, he had gone too far down a dark path, as seen in the following passage from the Deathly Hallows. I never meant to call you mud blood. it just… slipped out. It's too late. I've made excuses for you for years. None of my friends can understand why I even talk to you. You and your precious little Death Eater friends. You've chosen your way, I've chosen mine. Sadly, this passage seems to confirm how Lily ended up feeling for Severus as she became a young adult. Disappointed. Overall, Lily Potter and Severus Snape's relationship was a complex mix of friendship, love, and betrayal which I think they both felt in different ways. It was also a relationship marked by shared experiences, mutual understanding, but also by deep-seated differences and hurtful actions. 
It played a significant role in shaping both their lives and had profound implications on the events in the Harry Potter series. But what it comes down to, really, is that Snape loved Lily deeply, almost his entire life, right up to his dying breath. And Lily, while in her youth, cherished and loved Severus as a friend, and then grew disappointed in his choices, fell in love with another man, and ultimately gave up her relationship with him. And with that, we've come to the end of today's video. What did you think? Do you agree with me? Please share your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams and to forget to live.